It's a historic moment in Indian medicine, the first ever three-way liver transplant swap, a mammoth Herculean procedure that involved 55 doctors and nurses and 12 straight hours of surgical intervention and giving a new lease of life to three strangers who now find themselves interconnected with people that they had never even met. Adesh, Saurabh and Sanjeev could actually be the country's first, if not the world's first ever, triple swap liver transplant. We had three patients, Adesh, Sanjeev, who are both suffering from end-stage liver failure and Saurabh, who has liver cancer. Unless all of them get early liver transplants, they will not survive beyond a few weeks to months. They all have medically fit, willing donors in the family. But there are problems. Two of them do not have blood group matched donors. That means the donors that they do have are not of matching blood groups. And in the third pair, the donor that he has would not be able to provide adequate liver volume for his transplant. Now we believe we can actually sort out the problems of all the three pairs and all the three patients by planning a unique operation which I would call triple swap liver transplantation. Now the concept of swap liver transplantation actually came in because we've encountered many families in the past that have patients and have medically fit donors who are not of matching blood groups. We put these pairs of patients in a database and then when we get an opposite pair which means pair 1 has blood group A and donor of blood group B and pair 2 has the opposite problem. We match them up and we give the donor's liver from family 2 to the patient in family 1 and vice versa. It involves a lot of logistic problems. We'll have to run six theatres, we'll have to have six operating teams uh, working simultaneously. The surgery, the anesthesia, the uh, coordinators, the OT staff will be a humongous thing but we've been having discussion about this for quite a while now and we have planned everything meticulously. How would the operation go? You would start with donor, which recipient and how all those plannings are done. So as I said, this is an uncommon situation, doesn't happen quite often. But then this is one unique way of helping three families where none of them had a fit donor for themselves. There is a small possibility that one of the recipients who indeed are very sick would become unfit for transplant on that next day. Or a small possibility that one of the families who've already received an exchange transplant would deny going ahead with the transplant on the next day. That means the donor would have denied donating his liver on the next day. And that's the reason why this was even more complex wherein we had to do six operations happening in different theatres simultaneously and at the same time. So while two of these patients have advanced liver disease, they have complications like uh, jaundice, they have water accumulation in their bellies, uh, they have gone into coma. Fortunately, we've been able to bring them back. Uh, one of the patients has advanced liver cancer and none of these patients actually have their own suitable donor. We all know NFC is always a challenge. But this was going to be a different kind of challenge. For this, we need a proper planning, proper staffing, proper labeling of the drugs, proper labeling of the blood. So we plan to have a dummy day on the previous day of the surgery. So 
I think one of the things that we'll have to be very sure about here is that you know the what if one of the recipients just you know becomes very sick then the whole pair or the whole uh, program is just going to go down but i'm sure we'll be able to you know manage it in some way i think we're okay to go everything has been streamlined now the time is for action the real action so it's quite a ask obviously let's hope that we do it the way it is planned it's complex but definitely doable and we will make it happen so the d day has arrived we've as a team worked out everything to the t who will be the surgeons who will be the anesthetists in the six ors three on this side three on that side so all these ors have been prepared people have worked through the night and prepared all these operating rooms and the paramedics and the doctors teams are now inside the patients are inside we're just going to get started with the surgeries a couple of the surgeries have already started i'm just going to get scrubbed in and hoping and praying everything will go great <laughs>